lot of good wood. So this wood is gonna go to a chipper. Now we're gonna salvage it and we're gonna get to the shop and we're gonna make something cool with it. What we're gonna make, I don't know. Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back, my name is Ryan Cook and this week we are going to carve a eagle head bust relief for my good friend Mia from the Weather Network. And if you haven't seen that on the Weather Network, there'll be a little segment about me with the spirit of Squamish. Right now, I've got it designed out. Like I said, when you're doing this, you want to do a good profile view because this is a 2D relief carving. This is a great, great seller for everybody. You want to be able to do quick carves that are effective and you can make some money. The bust of an eagle is simple and as technical as you want to make it. You can make it creative, you can make it abstract, you can make it any way you want to do it. So don't beat yourself up, just get back to the same thing I talk about all the time. Clean lines, smooth, and get your form right. Right now, we're gonna dive into it. It's gonna be a chainsaw, echo chainsaw with a Makita finger sander, which I love. If you guys haven't seen this video yet, oh my God, I love this tool, I just got it today. Awesome! I'm gonna carve the eye, so we're gonna use saber tooth burrs and bits, Makita die grinder, Sando flex, and a high speed Makita drill. Buckle up, let's go. Let's kick on some tunes. <laughs> All right guys, so you can tell the block out is mostly chainsaw. You're just looking to kind of create the form. Now I'm going to use the Makita finger sander and just kind of touch up the beak, punch in the eye, and then burn the heck out of this thing and flap sand it and then it'll just have that like powerful piece but then the major major characteristics and the selling points are going to be in the eyes and in a clean beak. So just look for clean lines. That's why I touched this up at the end. And uh, yeah, pitter patter. Let's get at her. <laughs> it's 
Remember guys, you're doing a 2D form sculpture. So even though this eye isn't gonna look exactly like an eagle, you want it to push out a bit. Now when it's on the wall and people are looking at it, you're kind of capturing that pupil. If it's directly looking at you, the eyes change position, but really you're looking to kind of create light and shadow and showcase the sculpture of the eye and everything else, blah, 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 blah. So one good tip guys is to keep as much strength at the base until you're totally ready to take it off and uh, have it setting free. And then you can just put a nail in the back, whatever's gonna work, however you wanna hang it, or if it's just stand. When you're doing these pieces is they're gonna sit on the wall, right? So you wanna taper it back so it sits flush. One thing I always did when I first started carving was leave these big blocky bottoms. And until I really sat at my friend's house one day and looked and was like, oh man, that looks so bad. Um, then I took his carving home and actually fixed it. So I've always done that. Just think about that. One little helpful tip. And uh, let's get this thing done. Woo! Not as exciting to watch. <laughs> <laughs> giving this to Mia. She's filming me right now, so she's gonna uh, stay over there. Cause we gotta be socially distant. That's how it works these days. But uh, this is a great way for you guys to make a uh, eagle bust. You can make it any way you want. Just be creative, have fun, enjoy the process. Don't beat yourself up. Don't get down on yourself. Look for clean lines and uh, a good eye and a good strong beak. And there we go. Thanks for watching guys. Smash that like button. Subscribe to my page. My name's Ryan Cook. You! Later! <laughs> Can I just get 20 minutes? <laughs> yeah, we got her done. Wow, thank you so much. Oh, you you're so welcome. You not have to do that. I'm so appreciative. No, I'm happy to. I'm really stoked to be on the Weather Network and the fact that you even messaged me, so that's yeah. awesome.